In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can set up your out of office in Outlook for Mac. You can see here we have Outlook for Mac open and we're going to simply scroll up to the top here where it says file, edit, view, all that sort of stuff. Then we're going to select on tools. From here, we're going to scroll down to the second option from the top called automatic replies and we're going to open this guy up. If you have multiple accounts, it will ask you to actually choose the account that you want to set the out of office on. I'm going to drop this down and choose my second email, aldojamestechtips at outlook.com. Then I'm going to turn on the button of send automatic replies. And the dialog box is going to open up and I'm just going to quickly write a quick message. Once you've got your message in there, you can customize it with different fonts and colors and things like that. But what you want to do next is actually set a time period for that week or so that you're going to be out of that office. By default, it is set to no time period set. You can see where the cursor is. So we're going to select on the option of set. This is going to pull up a, um, a calendar and you're going to say essentially from the date you want your out of office to start to the date and time you want it to end. So I'm going to say from the 22nd, which is today, Saturday, uh, up until Wednesday, the 26th. And we're going to have the out of office going from 6 a.m. on the Saturday to going to type in PM to 6 PM on the Wednesday and simply select on save. And now once I'm done, automatic replies are going to start sending from my email account. As soon as I get a message, they're going to get a reply saying I'm out of office for the week. And it's going to be set between the 22nd of Feb to the 26th of, set of Feb. Next, you just want to select on X. And then once you've closed that, it has saved on your account and you get this little warning up the top here saying automatic replies are turned on. You can select on the automatic replies option if you wanted to edit this, or you can simply turn, or you can simply select on turn off if you want to turn it off. And there you go. It is that easy to set up automatic replies on Outlook for Mac. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.